Okay, lovelies, we are going to do grade seven, module two, lesson one. Our I can statement is I can solve multi-step problems involving percent change. So here we have a couple vocab words. We have percent change, and that is the amount of value changes relative to the original value. So that relative part is going to be an important part of our, um, our equation here. And then if the amount of value changes is an increase, then the percent change is a percent increase. And then if it is a decrease, then it's known as a percent decrease. Um, what we have in the blue box there is a really important formula. Um, percent change will equal the amount of change over the original amount. Now, as you can see here, we'll have some fractions, a little bit of decimals, but it's important that our answer is expressed as a percent. Okay, it has to be expressed as a percent. So working through our first problem here, Richard earns $12 per hour at the coffee shop. After three months, his salary is increased to $12.60 per hour. Express the change in Richard's salary as a percent. So again, change, our percent change, that means we need to take into consider the original amount and then what that difference is. So here with part A, we are finding the difference between the new rate and the old rate. And here is the amount of change. So that's going to be the numerator in our, uh, our formula here. And then we need to evaluate the change relative to the original amount. So we are putting our amount of change in our numerator here. Again, I'm following through with the formula that's in the blue box at the top. The amount of change goes in my numerator and then the original amount. So what he was paid originally goes in the denominator. Um, we'll do a little division here. You would do 12 into 0.6. So doing that division on the side gets us that 0 0.05, that 5 hundredths. And then we need to change it to a percent. So we have our decimal. We're going to go 1, 2 moves on over. And that will get us our final answer of 5%. And just that quick reminder, seeing that in action, um, to go from a decimal to a percent, you're going to move the decimal two places to the right. So two place values to the right uh, when you're going from a decimal to a percent. And then to put our answer into a sentence, again, 5% what? 5 what? This is Richard's salary increased by 5%. So it is a 5% increase. Let's put these, uh, use our formulas and try some practice problems here. We have Logan earn $8 for each dog he walked last summer. So that's going to be our original our original uh, rate. This summer, he raised his fee, so that's going to be our increase, to $9 per dog. Okay, so we had an increase. We want to express his change in fees as a percentage. So going back to our formula, we need to find the amount of change. So we'll do our 9 minus 8. It's going to be a $1 amount of change. So we're going to have $1 over our original amount. So our original amount, which is $8. 
We have lots of practice with our division today. So on the side of your paper, let me zoom in a little bit here. We're gonna make our little division house. Your eight is on the outside. That denominator goes on the outside of our division bar. And then we're gonna have one decimal and then throw a few zeros over there. Not sure how many you're gonna need. So I'll give you a minute, see how many times eight goes into 1.000. If you need to, you can pause this video as well. And I'm going to work through this on here. So work on your paper, on your scratch paper, and then peek over at your screen when you think you have your answer to this division problem. got a nice even 40 there with no remainder so this one dollar over eight dollars our amount of change over our original price will give us one two five one hundred twenty five thousandths and then we do need to express this as a percent. So we need to move our decimal over twice. So we're gonna go one, two to the right. And that will give us 12.5% increase. So Logan's fee increased 12.5%. And that is your answer. That's what they're looking for as a percent.